The UK rap scene is growing, with the charts saturated with the genre. The stereotypical view on rap conforming to gangs remains, but not all rap is the same, such as Christian themed rap, which is trying to push through these stereotypes. Eternal Minds was formed in the summer of 2012. Its two bandmates, Josh and Amari, have been friends for over eight years, creating the band through their love of music and Christianity. I've always been interested in music and I've always been interested in rap music specifically. So in high school, I might have wrote down some lyrics, but they weren't really serious. Amari Blissett still remembers the moment they first created the band. It was more like we just messing about, like getting together with Josh and writing songs. And then last September, when we both didn't go to uni, we just realised that I actually want to do this, I want to do music fully. Barry Jones is the 26-year-old producer who works closely with Eternal Minds. Not only did he produce the entirety of their first album, Introspective, but he did so from the comfort of his own home studio. They've come a long way, actually, from when they first started. Um, I like the way they're, um, they're progressing, mm. um, the way that they're developing as well. Mm. Um, in the studio, I, I see their ideas coming out a lot better than what they used to. They've got like a little kind of, uh, they've got character to them. So yeah, I, li I like that style. Eternal Minds are now working hard on every artist's dreaded second album, the context of which is unknown. However, the band are open to changes and this album may see the first of many drastic ones. 20 year old Zoe Matthews has been a fan of Eternal Minds since their very beginning and has been preparing herself for the scenario of what she'll do if the band were to change. Yeah, I'd probably speak to them about it and then see where they were coming from. Like, Because when you find out when someone's coming from, it might be a whole other perspective on the songs and stuff like that. I think with change, like, as they, they're growing up, their music is getting better because they're becoming more mature and they're realising, like, being more aware about the things around them and, like, the issues in, like, the world and stuff. So I think change is fine as long as they're staying true to like what they believe. You're always growing, this music is the same thing, you can't stay the same. And I feel like if the fans want you to stay the same, and it's like, they're not really feeling the music, they're just feeling that period of time. Like they want that period of time, they're living in the past, but you gotta live in the present and move forward. I'm never gonna be defined by the expectation that someone else puts on me or the box that they put around me. You can't afford to stay still because some people like what we were doing then. If it didn't grow with us or like I didn't like what I was making, then I wouldn't really care what everyone else out there was saying. Even if they liked it, I wouldn't be satisfied. It's similar thing with like, I would never let us be determined or defined by the expectation and anticipation that they have on us. So You always have to cater to your first fans, if that makes sense. So like you pick up fans along the way as well, you pick up people who like your music. They might do it, they might completely change for one album. My philosophy is do music that you love, but do music that you know your fans will like the sound of. But is this genre excluding a potential fan base? 23-year-old Kareem Amrani is both a rap fanatic and Muslim. He, like 25% of Muslims, was unaware of the genre which Eternal Minds writes in. The stereotypical things that are in rap you can't really do in gospel music because it contradicts the whole point of religious rap. So it wouldn't make it to my ears. Don't listen to me because my religion or what I believe listen to me because I am a human and ultimately, I'm the same as you. This is the first time Kareem has listened to Christian themed rap. In terms of the quality of the music, it's good. The content is good as well. Um, would I personally listen to it? Probably not. That's not to say it's not good music, it's just that kind of music wouldn't really appeal to the general like, rap audience. I don't think it would really appeal to a lot of people. So what changes lie in the future for Eternal Minds? I've always wanted to get a children's home and help like orphan children and I feel like Eternal Minds is the platform, even though right now we do music, I feel like Eternal Minds is going to be a platform for me to be able to achieve that. We wouldn't just change it like out of the blue, it would be a process of um, explanation. If they come to us like, okay, what's happened to you guys now, would explain it. If they are only buying into the, the name and the brand, but not us as people, and I think that's unfair. Be smart about it and have your fan base first, maybe a few albums, and then 
move, um, move up. I wouldn't change if I was them because that's what that's what they believe in. That's what they that's what they want to rap about. As long as they stay true to themselves and that they don't try to conform to the things that people want them to be, and they remember that. <laughs>